What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with a very quick Christmas tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna create a Face Me two-dimensional Christmas tree. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there's a couple different ways that we could do this, but we're gonna make this very simple. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna import an image and we're gonna use that just as our two-dimensional image. So this works out nicely because the image we're gonna use is one that I downloaded from Wikipedia and uh, it's a PNG file that has a transparent background. So it works very nicely for this. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go to file and we're gonna import our image. So we're just gonna go to file, import, and then we're just gonna go find our tree image. So in this case, this is the tree image that I've downloaded. And uh, sometimes you have to click this drop down and go down to the all supported image types in order for this to show up. And in this case, you wanna make sure that you've checked the, uh, or you've uh, clicked the little button for image in order to do this. So I'm just gonna double click and that's gonna let me bring this in to SketchUp. You can see how this is in here as an image file. So it's just a flat two-dimensional image. And I will link to this image in the notes down below so you can follow along. You can see how if I was to double click on it right now, it doesn't let me do anything because um, right now it's not gonna let me edit this. It brings this in as kind of its own item and you can't double click into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click the button for explode. And the reason is because I don't wanna go through here and trim this image to kind of match along these edges, but I wanna make this a little bit smaller. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab all of these edges and I'm just gonna move them in using the move tool. Because when you use the move tool, you can see how since this is just basically an image projected on a plane, you can move these in without this cutting your tree off. And if you move this in too far, then it's gonna cut the tree off. Um, but I'm just gonna move this down so this is sized to about this far. And so the other thing I'm gonna do um, before we make this a component is I actually wanna come in here and I want to hide all of these edges because when this becomes a uh, face me component, I don't want this to look like a little billboard with these four edges in here. So all I'm gonna do is just double click in the middle and then hold the shift key and click again to deselect my actual texture that's on here. Then I'm just gonna right click in here. I'm gonna right click on one of these edges and I'm gonna click the button for hide. And so when I do that, all that's gonna do is that's gonna hide the edges um, around this square image. So you can see how those are still in there. Like if you double click, those still show up, um, but they don't show up when you, when you just turn the image inside of SketchUp. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this into a component. And so to make this into a component, we're just gonna double click. That'll let us select our face and all of our edges. We're just gonna right click and we're gonna click the button for make component. And when we do that, we want this to become a face me component, meaning it's a component that always faces the camera. And so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna check this button for always face camera. And once we do that, we can click create and now this tree will face your camera no matter where you rotate inside of SketchUp. So, and you can come in and you can make multiple different copies of this. So, I can make three copies here. I could scale some of them up and some of them down if I wanted to. And you can see how as I rotate, all of these are gonna rotate to face my camera. So this face me component will now face the camera no matter where you go inside of SketchUp. So that's where I'm gonna end this video. I just wanna say thank you to all of you for watching the videos this year and also a Merry Christmas and also a Happy New Year. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Are you using face me components? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here remember to click that subscribe button for new sketchup content every week as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this i really appreciate it and i will catch you in the next video thanks guys